Hey guys, um, on this property, uh, they, it was another flip, which is, which is actually pretty interesting. Uh, the flip was done very well, and I know, I'm, I know I normally beat up on these ones, but since it was done so well, I want to show you some of the signs of when I first approach a property, how I think the property was done well or not, and if it's going to be a hard inspection or it's going to be a good one. So uh, let me take you to some of the things that I saw right off the bat, and then we have to head up to Humble. <laughs> All right, so, so one of the first signs I noticed when I walked up to the property is I noticed all the windows have been replaced. Normally, whenever they put uh, money into just the windows itself, they put money somewhere else. They had money to spend on the property, and uh, that's just uh, one of the first signs. The next sign is I normally like to take a look at the condensers, and if they've replaced the condensers and they look brand new, norm <laughs> normally, yeah, uh, if they're installed correctly, uh, that means that uh, they had the money to spend there, so they spent they spent a lot of money on this property, that's what I'm trying to say. So here you go, you can see how big the condensers are. They put in nice name brands too. Uh, they're both, you have a ream and you have a, I'm oh, sorry, you have a rud and you have a train unit. Both top end units, expensive. They bought higher sear ratings. So this one's a 16 sear, the other one's a 17 sear. So uh, they spent money on the property out here too as well. So I got really lucky on this one. Uh, my report was very nice and I got to give good news to my clients. So um, that's it. Uh, let's go get on the road. All right, uh, to wrap up this video, I wasn't able to really shoot any uh, video on site, which kind of sucks. Um, uh, the client, he really wanted to follow me around and talk to me the whole time, which is completely okay. Uh, but man, this guy was a beast. He was like in the attic, crawling around with me on the roof. Um, he was pretty much everywhere I, where I went. Um, this as a home inspector, this is completely up to you how you want to handle it. But uh, to me, I let my clients pretty much do anything and I just kind of let them know it's at their own risk. Because uh, part of their contract they sign, uh, it says that they can do any type of inspection and that includes them. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just take some, of, take some of the photos that I had and I'll throw them on the screen and then I'll show you uh, the things that I found and I'll talk to you a little bit about them. All right, so for the first problem, whenever I opened up the coils in the attic area, what, I'll, what I do is I open up the filter, the coils were on the filter side, and open it up, and I noticed there was a lot of rust and corrosion inside the filter area. Um, this typically means that uh, the coils could be damaged or it can even cause a leak too as well. So um, I really wasn't able to test the cold air because how cold it was outside, but because of how dirty the intake was, how rusted the interior coils were, and how dirt, dirty the return air chase was, it was enough to get a technician out there for them or get it recommendation, write it up for a recommendation for a technician. Uh, the next one's pretty minor. Uh, there was a rain sensor on the outside and uh, his sprinkler box wasn't wired for it. <laughs> a lot of builders forget to actually connect the outside rain sensor so it'll, whenever it's raining the uh, the sprinkler system will go off still. Uh, one of the things that he didn't like on the outside, there was a lot of cracking across the stucco. Um, it looks like they tried to paint it with another type of paint. I'm not really sure what caused this um, discoloration. The only thing I can think of is they had two different types of paint on the outside, but it's showing you that stucco is going to crack no matter what. Um, the, all the control joints and expansion joints were installed correctly on this wall, but um, for whatever reason, the, this stucco is cracking, so I documented that all the way around the property too. And uh, for the last one, uh, this one's actually a pretty touchy one when it comes to it. Uh, foam insulated attics are actually starting to become extremely popular uh, in the Houston area. And uh, one of the, I mean, it's a great system, but also at the same time, uh, if you have a roof leak, uh, the foam insulation creates a perfect environment and it will just sit there and hold the moisture. And uh, so on, when I was up in the attic, there was a boot jack that was split and I'll show you the photo. Um, and I made sure when I went into the attic, I looked underneath it. I didn't see any types of mold or moisture building up or any type of fungus kind of building up around the, uh, the, the, the roof jack, but it is something that you want to keep an eye out for because if your roof is leaking, you're not going to know until it's actually pretty bad. So this is something that you definitely want to fix. 
moving into this one. So uh, that's it. Uh, that's all I got on the, uh, that property. It was pretty clean. It was a 2012, so I had a pretty easy day today. If you like these types of videos, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Thanks. Bye.